Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to assemble a loom flower garland. This is very, very simple. And these flowers were made using a flower loom, also known as a loom bloom or a bloom loom. And this just uses a little bit of yarn and here I've made lots of different ones in different colors. And there's a video if you'd like to learn how to make your own blooms. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble it now that we've made all of our flowers. I have here some, this is worsted weight acrylic yarn for all the flowers. And I wanted to take the green that I used and use it to string the flowers up because I wanted them to kind of look like they were on a little vine. So depending on how long you want your garland to be, you're going to cut a piece of yarn to the length you would like it to be. For this project, you'll need your yarn, your flowers, your scissors, and a tapestry needle. I have a large one here that seemed to do the trick. So once you've cut your yarn, you're just going to thread the needle. So once you threaded your needle, you're ready to get started. So let's start with the yellow one. This is the front of our flower, and if you flip it over, this is where we've knotted it and everything. We're going to insert the needle not through the very center because it'll tend to make it want to swivel on the yarn. So we're going to go up a little bit to the top. You can see the back. This is the back of the middle of the flower. We're going to go up to the top portion of the center. That way more of the weight will hang and it won't swivel. So we're just going to go in and then back out just like that with our needle and then we're going to pull it through slide it down again we've cut our yarn the length that we want our garland to be next we'll pick a different color let's try a blue and we're going to go we're going to flip it over and then we're going to go into the top portion of the center so that more of this weight is hanging down and it gives it a nice uh, weighted balance when it's hanging. So then we'll just push that one aside. Let's grab a pink one. We're going to go into the top part of the center again, same way. And you're just going to keep doing this for all of your flowers until you've got them all strung onto this piece of yarn. And then we'll just keep going. I'll put a few more on here. Again, we're going into the top of this center. Oops, and our needle popped off here. That's okay. Okay, and then I'll just show you a few more. Okay, we're just going to go in, whoops, careful not to go through these petal loops because that will make it hang funny also. Okay, so now that we have everything, let's just say this is our garland, our finished garland. Now that we have, have everything strung, you can see they're a little smushed together. So what you want to do is you want to flip this over so that the front side is facing. And then you're just gonna kind of slide them apart, fix them up so that everything, you want them to be touching. You don't want too big of a gap unless that's what you're, you're after. But I kind of liked how they were just barely touching so it looked nice and full. If you want a really large garland and have less flowers to work with, you could space them out a little bit more. It's completely up to you. This is a very simple garland that you can do your own way. And then when you're finished, you have your, your finished garland. Ours is a little bit short because I just wanted to show you. And you can use these ends and tie them onto something or you can make a little not like that and then tie it in there just like that 
and trim this piece and make a nice little hanging loop for your garland. So that is how you assemble a loom flower garland. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.